channel. So, it is almost my very favorite holiday besides the birth of Christ, Valentine's Day. It's coming up, so I wanted to do a quick video for you guys showing you some really easy ideas for him and for her, of course, because after all, Valentine's is kind of a holiday for the woman. <laughs> so I have different price points, I have some DIY ideas, I have some subscription ideas, all sorts of things. So if you want to know what to get your sweetheart for Valentine's Day, keep watching. Okay, so let's start with the men to get them out of the way. Just kidding. Because <laughs> they're the most important. <laughs> so I'm going to show you the absolute favorite gift that Kyle says I've ever given him. Like of all the things, this was his favorite. So this is called Me Undies. It's an underwear subscription. These are the Valentine styles. Whatever type of underwear your man wears or woman, because you can get a women's subscription as well. You pick, so briefs, trunks, or boxers. And every month for $16, like for a whole year or two years, you get a pair of these underwear, like a surprise. So it's like the gift that keeps on giving. Now, if you bought these, typically they're like $24. So with the subscription plan, you're gonna get these cute, cute underwear for like $16. And he just loves it. He loves it when that little thing arrives and he's like, oh, I wish I could wait to see my underwear. So this is a really great gift, very Valentine's themed. Me undies, I'm linking all these in the description, obviously. Also, I'm in my new kitchen. And it's so awesome. So I'm filming this in my kitchen too because I'm gonna show you guys some easy things to do in your kitchen for your man. So let's move on to the second gift. So this can also be for man or one, but I really love Shutterfly because you can, for a limited time right now, you can get, I got these for free. All these four by sixes and all of these um, square images. So I got all these ones of Kyle and I. What a great gift too, because who prints out a picture these days? Like your grandma, nobody else. <laughs> So you can get these and put them in a photo album. All you're gonna pay with Shutterfly is a shipping and handling fee. This, none of this stuff is sponsored or like any sort of, these are just things that I happen to love. And there are a lot of other companies too that do this. I know Shutterfly does some stuff. I've heard of like tiny prints, chat books, like all those different things. But I really love Shutterfly. So to send me all these pictures and some eight by tens and like larger size, I think it was like $20 or maybe less, but I ordered a ton of pictures. So. Obviously, a personalized gift is an awesome idea for Valentine's Day because it is all about love and couple shit. Okay, let's move on to another thing that a man likes, food. So you see that La Crusade pot back there? Anything you're going to cook up in that or that oven, he's going to be liking. <laughs> but I want to show you something that's really super easy. So I know a lot of people get caught up in, I've got to make something for, from scratch for it to be special. I'm like a big cook and I love making things from scratch. But when you got Valentine's Day and you got all these other things going on, don't be afraid to go out. And what I do is I get these really cute little like ramekins for whatever holiday it is. And then I just get like a basic brownie mix so I don't have to make it from scratch. And this makes it special. So I got these cute little heart shaped ramekins at Marshall's actually for like $3. And I just love them. I'll try and find them and link them below. But I just use like a gluten free brownie mix, mix from Whole Foods. And then I put a scoop of ice cream on the top and he don't know no, no difference. Okay, so next, see behind me. This is like my most favorite gift maybe ever. And if I didn't already have one, this would be what I would want to receive for Valentine's Day. So this is called a letter folk board. It says happy Valentine's Day right now, but you can change out the letters and do any type of sort of message that you want. So if I wanted to say, I love Kyle, I could say that. If I wanted to say, I need some alone time, I could say that. <laughs> If I wanted to say, Doug is my homeboy, I could say that. Whatever you so choose to say, you can say. Happy Super Bowl, happy birthday. This is a really great gift. And they also have like a small one. So they range from $50 to like $250. This is the higher end one because it's really large. And so you can interchange these letters like this. So, you know, I can just add a little M on there or whatever I want to add. I, you have to push it in there and I'll like push it back there into my cabinet space. But anyways, I absolutely adore these letter folk boards. And it's also, it's a family run company by a husband and wife team that they're really, really awesome. So um, you can get them in a white backdrop too or a gray backdrop if the black doesn't really match your aesthetic. So I highly recommend those. Okay, so obviously you like food and Valentine's Day. I'm all about the sprinkles cupcakes, you know? And for Valentine's Day, they come out with these like limited time flavors and they do the cutest little box. So I just got this box today and as you can see, there's all these different kinds. So there's red velvet, there's double chocolate, there is like a white cake and it's all these different like assortments of flavors. And I think they're like 40 something dollars for a dozen, but what's great about sprinkles if they're in your area is they deliver. 
and I just love Sprinkles cupcakes are my all time favorite cupcakes. I used to like Gigi's cupcakes, but then I tasted a Sprinkles cupcake and I fell over dead. And I've been a Sprinkles kind of girl ever since. Another really easy thing to get a woman always is clothing. However, if you're one of those men that's like, oh my gosh, I don't know, my wife always looks great, my girlfriend always looks great, but I don't know if I'll be able to pick that out, stick with something easy like pajamas or a sweatshirt or even like workout gear if you don't want to send the wrong, maybe, maybe wait if you're married to do the workout gear, you don't want to be dating someone and send the wrong message. <laughs> so I love these and I've been featuring them a ton in my content because these are close to $40 and they're awesome and they're so soft and I wear them every single night. So those are the bottoms. This is the top. It's like a long sleeve, just typical classic pajama pant set. How much more Valentine's theme can you get in these red roses? They remind me of like Dolce & Gabbana or a really, really high end designer. These roses do. And if you guys could feel these, these are just awesome. These have been flying off the shelves. Like they'll sell out, restock them. They're just love these. So another easy clothing item for a man to get a woman or for a woman to ask for and you know that it's going to get done right <laughs> are these really cute Valentine's themed sweatshirts or any type of sweatshirt. But for Valentine's Day, I like the Valentine's themed. So I really love these. These are Wild Fox. Wild Fox is going to be a little bit higher end. Um, there's also a company that has about half price but really, really cute sweatshirts called Illy Couture. I'll link those below as well. But um, they have some that say different like Valentine's phrases on them and then there are these and they have ones with a little tiny like classic sweetheart like pastel colored ones on them. So um, really, really cute idea and a very easy idea. Okay, next. So I just had to add this in because this has just come out and I absolutely love this. It's the shirt that I have on right now, the good vibes only, which is like my motto. That's what I need to write back there. It's good vibes only. That is the only kind of vibes allowed in my house, on my channel. Y'all always give me good vibes. <laughs> so I love Spiritual Gangster. I wear it all the time. Well, they just came out with an active wear line and I'm trying to be active. So this is super cute, Warrior. I love the phrase. I love their sports bras because they're not like really that thick material that you feel like you sweat and it's like, it holds the sweat in for 10 years. Like these are breathable and they feel like real clothes and not like spandex restrictive. That's what I like about those. This shirt that I have on right now, obviously like it's a little sweatshirt material and I love it. You could wear it when you work out or you could also wear it like just every day. Or then there's this super cute one that I just got. Like I just love the messages too. And it's very Valentine's theme, the Radiate Love. Love it. I love the way these tanks fit because they're kind of big so it kind of hides your belly if it's not gone yet. Or well, that's at least how I feel and how I think about my workout <laughs> Okay, and I've talked about these before and I'm sorry to mention them again. And no, I'm not sponsored or I have zero deals with any of these people or with this. I just love them. And they totally changed my hair and they totally changed my skin. I featured them in the last video, but I think if you're just watching this Valentine's video, silk slip pillowcases are an awesome gift for a woman. So I said it on my last video, but cotton pillowcases, they, when you sweat and they like tear the skin, all those things disappear whilst sleeping on a satin pillowcase. I love those and will sleep on them until the end of time. Another really cute little gift that I'm drinking out of right now, like what kind of woman wouldn't love to walk in the house and your husband be like, or your boyfriend be like, I got you this mug and it says, hello, gorgeous. <laughs> I would like that, but I bought this for myself. So this is from Target, it was like $5. And I love gifts like this too, because you can put things in them. So you can make this more than just a mug. You could put a little gift certificate. So I really love Escape Day Spa and Salon or like whatever local spa you have. Or maybe if you know like what place your lady goes to get her nails done or something, put that little gift certificate in here, wrap it up in like some cellophane and what a cute little gift. And then they can keep this mug. So then once that gift certificate expires, they still want to be drinking out of that mug. This is on the higher end, but I'm going to show you two different things from Jen Zuner's line. Jen Zuner, I have been wearing the heck out of. I started buying Jen Zuner a couple years ago when I saw the nameplate necklaces. So that's what she used to be known for. And like the nameplate necklaces are her thing. But then now she's doing these beautiful fine jewelry pieces and they're just lovely. I really love to like stack gold necklaces too, you guys know. So these two are tangled up, but this is my Mallory necklace and my Kyle necklace. So these are under $200. So these are a more affordable piece because they're plated in gold. And like you can get either your name or what I really love 
is getting the name of your lover. So I've got a cow one too. And I think that's such a cute gift to get your woman. And then if you wanted to go the fine jewelry route, this eye necklace that I've been wearing, oh, to the end of G. So it's made, it's gold, and it's got diamonds, and it's got a turquoise piece in the middle, and it's 500 something dollars. But this piece of jewelry is awesome, and it's edgy, and it's cool, and it's in, and I love it. So that's that for my fine jewelry. I'll get off my fine jewelry high horse here and show you guys something else, but I just, I had to slip that in there. <laughs> okay, so next, I love candles. I burn candles all the time in my house, especially now that I'm in a new home and I love this new space and I'm just like so proud of it. Well, I love these candles for two reasons. So these are, I don't, aquas, aquas, I don't know how to pronounce it as per usual, but I love these candles and they're the only kind of candles that I burn in my house. Like one is burning right now. So this is the shorter one. They're in these beautiful glass containers and then these glass tops go on the top when you're done with it. But not only are these the most awesome candles and like they're higher end, so this one's gonna be like 30 something and the smaller ones are gonna be 20 something. But let me show you what you can do after you're done burning these candles. These candles are awesome, like while they're burning, but it's not over, hang on. So once you're done with the candles, you're gonna throw them in the dishwasher and just run a normal cycle. You can wash them with other dishes and you clean this thing out and then you use it as a base. So I cut my roses after my roses start to wilt. I take off the brown petals on the outside and I cut them really short so that they like don't droop. And I put them in one of these containers. So I really love that as a gift because it's a gift that like you can keep around and you can use more than once. And I am all about that. Okay, another great idea obviously for Valentine's Day is gonna be to have a Valentine's Day at home, cook a nice meal. I always like saw myself in a beautiful marble kitchen like cooking a lamb like with the mint sauce and all that stuff. I've yet to do that and I'm gonna film it by God if I do. <laughs> but I really love it for Valentine's Day if you decorate like, you know, kind of a little Valentine's theme. This is really actually minimal decoration, but like look at how much different it makes this kitchen look. So I love these. These are from a little company called Studio Pep and they have just super cute decor. So those balloons are, they have a smaller version of the balloon. And then also the XOXO little banner that's behind me, that's from them too. They have all kinds of really, really cute holiday themed decor, all sorts of like decor and I really love them. And I really love the idea of like decorating your space and doing a Valentine's Day at home. And then last but not least, and something that I really love, so Valentine's Day a lot of times is about an experience. Like whether or not you can take a trip, you can always do a little staycation. I've gotten really into a staycation lately. So Kyle and I, had a little staycation at the Thompson when Alex and Michael came and it was just the best time. And the fact that like, just pick any hotel in your hometown and do a little staycation, like whether it's one night or two nights, I think that that's an awesome gift and an awesome thing to do for Valentine's Day, a little getaway. So I just hope that you guys loved this video. It's a really quick video because I'm doing a lot of other things today, but I had to get you guys some Valentine's Day ideas, okay? And now the Valentine's Day in my house is over, I'm just going to finish this video by popping this confetti balloon that I got from Studio Pep. I was going to do like the most precious little shot outside on a white wall and a pretty dress, but Big Mama got all the things to do. And also like most of the bloggers use a pretty little press pin, but you remember whose kitchen it is. It's Big Mama's kitchen. So happy Valentine's Day to all of you. Please thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. 